Welcome back for this week's episode of Pat Psychology Masters. Today is going to be another quick video. I'm going to be telling you about social desirability bias, lie scales, and impression management. So, first of all, social desirability bias. It makes sense when you break the phrase down. So, social desirability is people's tendency to want to respond in a way that makes them appear desirable let's say you ask them a question like are you always kind to your to your family and the person says oh yeah always that mightn't be true but it's the socially desirable way to present yourself and social desirability can get in the way of good psychological research because let's say you're handing out a questionnaire and you want to really interrogate how a person feels about a certain thing, what their attitudes are, or maybe you want to find out about them as a person. You want to get honesty from them. You don't want them to say the answer that they think they should give, like the, the politically correct answer. You want them to give the honest answer. So when, when, when making questionnaires, sometimes it's a good idea to include what's called a lie scale as in a scale to detect lying one way of doing this could be by putting two kind of similar items on the questionnaire and you might remember from a previous video me describing likert scales so you'd be familiar with likert scales even if you're not familiar with the phrase that is let's say uh, four response options or seven response options like strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree, or you know, strongly disagree, somewhat agree, uh, neutral, or somewhat agree, strongly agree. Those kind of options, and we tick the box. That's called a Likert scale. So imagine you're provided with the statement, I never regret my actions, and you're asked, how much do you agree or disagree with this statement? Do you strongly disagree? Do you disagree? Do you agree? Or do you strongly agree? I never regret my actions. Yeah, I never regret my actions. I strongly agree with that statement. And then you, you answer a few more items in the questionnaire and you come across another item and this one says, sometimes I feel bad about the things I've done. Do you agree with this? And you think, yeah, I suppose, so, yeah. I agree with that. Sometimes I do feel bad about the things I've done. I'll take agree. Well, I've just contradicted myself. I've agreed with a statement that says, I never regret my actions. And I've also agreed with a statement that says, sometimes I feel bad about things I've done. So that's a good way of probing social desirability. Is this person answering in a way that they wish to be perceived? Or are they answering in a way in which they feel very honest? Life scales were born of a theory called impression management, which I'm really excited to learn more about. And let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll make sure to make another video on impression management theory. Thanks a million for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free every week, a, a new video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to me on Instagram at Pat Psychology Masters. Thank you very much for watching.